present arrived at Jokolo Technical Institute, the venue of the celebration in the company of the family. He inspected the guard of honor, which was provided by women. The president noted that the government is treating the matter of famine and hunger with importance. Many parts of the country have been subjected to a prolonged dry spell and could face famine in the coming months. The president said the advice is to cut the budget of other sectors to deal with this problem. <laughs> This little scale, however, is good in a way because it has now woken us up to look at irrigation. I have directed government departments to work on producing many solar-powered pumps so that we can have solar-powered pumps pumping water uh, wherever you are. The head of state also cautioned against encroachment of wetlands. I appeal to you not to imitate the bad manner President Seven said hepatitis B, a viral infection that attacks the liver and could cause both acute and chronic disease, is a serious problem in this region, urging the locals to go and test and be treated. That we cannot vaccinate everybody at the same time. Because you need workers. Who can follow the because you don't vaccinate the one who is already infected? The area MPs informed the president of the rampant cattle raids that have caused both insecurity and instability. Excellency, to stop the influx of Karamojong, which is making the problem of Lango worse. We love them, but we don't want disaster in our area. It's a temporary problem. The problem of Karamoja is water. It is not that the water is not there. It rains, but we have not put enough dam to capture the water and keep it for a long time. President Museven he praises on the woman MP for Dokolo District, Cecilia Gual. This day is good, this day. Maurice Chow, NTV, Indokolo.